Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel. And before we start our solution step by step, please like this video, subscribe on the channel and share with your classmates. Now let's go for our problem. The jib crane is supported by a pin at C and rod AB. If the load has a mass of 2 megagrams with its center of mass located at G, determine the horizontal or vertical components of free action at pin C and the force developed in rod AB on the crane when X is 5. So, a quick reminder that 1 megagram is equal 10 to the 6 grams, that's equal 10 to the 3rd kilograms. Now we can find our forces here. So here I have my Cx, my horizontal component, and here I have my Cy that I think is pointing up and point to the right. Now I have the force developed on cable AB that I'm going to call T, and from here to here we have 3 meters and from here to here we have 4 meters. So pointing up we're going to have our Ty that's equal T times 3 over 5 and here in the x-axis pointing to the left I'm going to have T times 4 over 5. And here our weight pointing down. So the easiest approach using our equations of equilibrium is to the sum of the moments about C. Remember that clockwise is our post. So here I will start with our weight, so minus because I'm going clockwise 2 times 10 to the third kilograms times 9.81 that's our gravity times 5 that is the distance between point C to our weight. Now I have plus our Ty 3 T over 5 times 4 that's the distance from point C to our tension plus 4t over 5 times 0 0.2 is equal 0. In this problem, my point C is not aligned with our point B, so we have the Tx doing moment about C. So here I'm gonna have 12.8t over 5 is equal 98,100 newtons. Solving this, I have my tension is equal 38,320 newtons, or to simplify, my tension is 38.3 kilo newtons. So here we found the tension developing in the rod AB. Now we're gonna do the sum of forces in X has to be zero. In our X axis we have Cx and we have the horizontal component of my tension Tx. So here I have Cx minus T x is equal 0, so my cx is equal 4 times 38.3 over 5. So our cx is equal 30.7 kilo newtons. Now we have the forces in y, so here I have ty here I have my Cy and pointing down, I have my weight. So the sum 
of forces in y direction is equal to zero, I have ty plus cy minus weight is equal to zero. ty is three times 38.3 over five plus cy that we don't know is equal two times 10 to the third times 9.81 divided by a thousand. Why divided by a thousand? Because this upper part is in newtons, so I'm correcting to have in kilonewtons. So here I have Cy is equal 3.5. 48 kilonewtons. So our Cx is positive, so which means Cx is pointing to the right, and our Cy is positive as well, so is pointing up. These are our answers. The horizontal component Cx, vertical component Cy, and the tension we found earlier 38.3 kilonewtons is the force developed on the rod AB. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.